this is the video on the watt bike atom if it has uh, no resistance or resistance isn't changing if you remove the uh, side covers I'll have to remove this other cover as well but with this uh, main gear here if you try and turn this if it feels like it's uh, stiff or locked it should be quite free flowing when you turn it this is the stepper motor pulley here it's, this is the actual stepper motor in here this stepper motor has seized up down here so sometimes uh, you can unseize it just by turning this, which I'll give it a go now. Let's try and physically turn it. Yeah, you can see this one. Yeah, so there you go, so I've unlocked it. So just unlocked it, which that would probably work again. You can just turn it with your finger like this, which will raise and lower it, and then you can see on the board here, a little light up, sensing that your the resistance is actually changing. So now you'll probably find that the um, this uh, step motor will actually work and if you put the bike on the resistance will actually work but it's all the corrosion and the, the salt and the acid and the sweat that dribbles down the handlebar column down through here or down on the covers and then down into here and drips down onto here which you can see all the corrosion we've got here plus the, the salt and the sweat that's in the bottom of the machine there. So what we'll have to do here is actually take this uh, stepper motor uh, off and replace it, put a new one on, and then get that going again. But if this feels like it's locked when you pull the covers off and you can't physically turn this fairly easy with your finger, then it's locked up, so you can just grab it and sort of turn it. Um, and then it'll unlock this silver alloy pulley in here, which is actually the main shaft that goes up into the stepper motor, is the piece that's actually um, locked on with corrosion. It does have some bolts at the very top here of the stepper motor. Four bolts there which holds the top plate on the step motor which sometimes the sweat will pull up on top of those bolt heads um, on top of the Phillips head bolt heads and, and then it'll leak through there. So it's best to add some glue or some um, um, you know some sort of uh, liquid heat shrink um, type stuff or glue to the tops of those bolt heads to stop the the moisture from getting down through the actual bolt head itself and seizing up the main shaft in this stepper motor. Thanks.